Hello, my name is Brandon Espinor, and I'll be taking you through the synthesis of trans-dichloro ethylene dimine cobalt chloride, also known as green crystal. The first part of the experiment is the preparation of the reaction mixture. I've already made my solution here, and I'm going to take you through the steps that you need to take to prepare your solution. When mixing your solutions together, it's very imperative that you take your time because if you mix the solutions in the improper order, impurities will form in your crystals. The first step is to get your cobalt chloride and mix that with your water. Following that, you mix your ethylene diamine and then you add your hydrogen peroxide. It's very important to get these in the correct order or else impurities will form. After this, you will take your solution to the fume hood and add the hydrochloric acid. The next part of the experiment is heating and crystallization. After you've added your hydrochloric acid, you want to transfer your solution to the fume hood and place it on the hot plate. As your solution is on the hot plate, you want to watch for the volume to decrease so that crystals will come towards the surface. It's very important that you keep your eye on the solution and as soon as splattering starts to occur, you remove the solution from the hot plate and allow it to cool. If too much splattering occurs, you will lose some of your crystals and your percent mass will be less. What I'm doing right now is removing the solution since it's reached this point and allowing it to cool inside the fuel hood. The solution is cooled and now I'll be transferring it to an ice bath. The tongs aren't really necessary since the solution is reached room temperature, so it's okay to use your hands as Just making sure that you're careful when you place the solution into the ice bath that it does not tip over. Part of the experiment is filtration and isolation. You want to set up for vacuum filtration by setting up a button or pump. The first thing you want to do is wet your filter paper with water. Following that, you can pour your solution of green crystals into the funnel system. It works best if you pour the solution towards the center of the uh, funnel system, therefore it's easier to collect your crystals at the end. After you've collected your crystals in the vacuum system, you want to wash them with methanol. The methanol you're using should be chilled in a cold ice bath. The reason that you're having it in an ice bath is because methanol will wash it, the crystals and take away impurities, but it can also dissolve the crystals if, they're not, if the methanol is not under the correct condition. When using methanol, as I said before, you want to use a small amount because it can dissolve your crystals. After you've taken your crystals and licked them with impurities, you can take them to the oven so they can dry. 